Hello everyone and welcome back to Fortnite events. So this time I'm going to show you how to add any 3D models into your Unreal Engine for Fortnite. And the first thing we're going to do guys is simply go to Google and search for this FBX 3D models course free download. Uh, you don't really want to pay anything into that. And once you go down, you will see this one sketch fab. And as you can see, these are some free models where you can get them. You all. Yeah. And to download any object, you simply, you will need to find this icon and just press on that icon and make sure it's FBX. Then you press download. Okay. Let me go back. And also guys, there is a lot of other stuff related to Fortnite. So you can just press tags and search for fortnite in that case you will find too many characters related to fortnite yeah let me choose one of the characters. like let's say i'm gonna choose jewels i will press download again you need to find that it's fbx i'm gonna just press download. it's only 26 megabytes so that's awesome okay once you download the uh the character you want or the 3d models you want it doesn't have to be a character of course it can be any object go to your unreal engine then you press here content aware into your project make sure you make a new folder so i'm gonna make a new folder here then double click on that folder then i press import you go into uh for me i did download it in double loads compressed okay i need to un unzip this file first so i'm gonna just unzip this file okay go back to the project open sources then i double click on the mechanic FBX. here you don't really change anything here just make sure it's default just in case if you changed anything and this one should be local create new material then i press import clear on there and as you can see this is jules and this is the object that it should, it was holding in her hand anyway uh now as you can see if you double click on the jewels you will see that it's literally white it doesn't have any color at all and yeah you cannot actually think like that so in order to change the color you need to change the material you have three options like this one isolate this is a body this one is a face or the head this one is her hair okay so you have three objects you can highlight it just in case if you don't know which object is that and you can actually change it from here as you can see this one is body you can get any other uh any other material from any other character like you can get material from maybe uh any other character in fortnite and just add it to that character or maybe get uh, a random material from from the program itself like i'm gonna change that you see just <laughs> okay let's let me back to body again and yeah you can just change the material from here so what i'm gonna do is uh, getting the original material i got it from the website how i do this simply you again you press uh, in, inside this folder you press import and you go back uh, to texture and just drag and add all the material okay i'm gonna press open so now uh sorry this is not the material this is called texture texture when i group them together it will be material okay now what i'm gonna do is double click on any of these as you can see this is body this is face accessory this is head i'm gonna double click on the body okay as you can see it's white i need to change that so i'm gonna delete just click on that and delete okay it's now just a black orb i'm gonna just resize that go going to content drawer and now i need to search this is body remember you need to search for everything that has a name of body okay okay this is body this is body this is body this is body so i'm gonna select all these four because all of them are just body i'm gonna drag them and put them here okay we can make this one bigger so we can see now just take it away from each other it doesn't matter if you put it right or left now every time you select one and you press here you can know what is the name of this one so this one it's name body t1 underscore s s 
S, you just find the same letter here. You try to find the same letter. So this one is S. So this this is S is specular. You're gonna just drag this RGB into specular. Then again for this one, you select the the second one, and this one stands for N. N stands for normal. So I'm gonna drag this one to a normal. Then I'm gonna select this one. This one is D. D is actually the base color. So I'm gonna just go to the base color and and this one has T1 underscore M, which is the metallic one. I'm gonna just drag this one and go to metallic. And as you can see, the color has been completely changed. Now I'm gonna press apply. Then I close that one. If I go back to here and double click on that character, you will notice that the body has a color now. It, previously it hasn't any color, but now it has a color. So I'm gonna just close this one again. Go back to content and open, double click on that one. This is the face accessories. I'm going to double click on that face. I'm going to play the white thing again. Then I need to get all the face. Okay. That one, that, that one is face. That one is face again. That one is face. That one, these four are face. Sometimes you can le find less of these. Sometimes you can find more. It depends on the project, the 3 3D, 3D model itself. Okay, now I can simply, uh, this one is D, which is stand for base color. This one is, okay. And after you finish, press apply, then close that one. And now if you double click, you will notice that your character is actually ready. Now you can simply go back to here and make sure you just drag this character and put it here. The problem that you might face that some of the objects are just too big. Like you see this object is just extra big. Wow. I can resize it from here, but even after resizing the object, it cannot be resized more. Like it will reach this amount and you can, you cannot actually make it smaller. So in that case, I will just leave that character and i will open blender you can download blender from google normally just search for blender and download that program okay i'm gonna uh, press on import fbx okay i need to import that file and i'm gonna go to it was in downloads compressed right jewel sources so i'm gonna just import this one after importing, it's just too big inside here as well. I'm going to export it again, but I'm going to resize it uh, to 0.1. Okay, I'm going to just export it in that size. Make sure you export it maybe to desktop or something. So rename it to Jules. Then you go back to your Unreal Engine, just again inside your new folder. You just press import and search for desktop at Jules. And yeah, just make sure you don't import the skeleton. Just make it empty like this. Okay. Because sometimes it's messed up and just load it as empty. And also you don't, don't import any material this time because like don't create any material because it will import another material and stuff. So I'm just not going to import any material or any texture or anything. Just I'm going to import just a skeleton okay clear okay now do you see this is a uh, new uh, jewels if i drag it and put it here you will notice that it's completely messed up right but it has the same size of the other characters but it's completely messed up what you're gonna do is again going back to this jewels double click on that one and now you need to figure out which is, which one is which one. So, okay. So that was the face. Uh, that was here. That was that. Yeah, that's it. Uh, close that one. As you can see, yeah, now your character is ready. And now guys, for this website, it's a lot easier for this one. It's called Maximo.com. You can simply 
choose any character again from here but the only problem it's only limited character that you can find in this website and by selecting any of the characters like let's say selecting this one or maybe select this one okay you can simply press download and just again make sure it's fbx binary and tpos just press download and your life can be a lot easier with this website than the other one because actually all the color and stuff is actually imported with the with the skeleton you don't really have to uh, redo what we did in the previous one so simply go to here press import this is the file i have downloaded just double click on that file and make sure you back to default just in case we change it something then we import Okay. And as you can see, like everything has been important, uh, imported, the texture has been imported, also the, the body and the, the other stuff has been imported, so you just drag the character directly, you don't really need to make any, ed any type of edits in this one, because it's awesome website. Thanks a lot guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe, and in the next video I will try to make some videos on animation, how to, how to animate your character.